Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of us that are on this journey to love, to reunite with our twins in this lifetime. And um, this is a crystal uh, oversoul attunement book. Um, so uh, the question I ask, so basically just to say, um, I went to the, so all my messages go from one to the next to the next, and I share guidance that comes through for me on my journey uh, with everyone and other people that come to me for healings and readings and also channeled letters that I do between people's twins. And today I was guided to go back to the crystal shop where I get crystals for the crystal grid that I do. And so uh, the crystal grid is based around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. And so if you join the crystal grid, you receive a piece of rose quartz, which I infuse with holy fire Reiki and the intent to bring your, you and your twin into reunion and all twin flames into their reunion to basically anchor love onto the planet. So when I was there, there was this new deck there and I <clears throat> was drawn to buy it. So I was like, OK, I'm going to get this. So this is by Michael Eastwood and Judy Hall, who was the author of the Crystal Bible. So if you know about crystals, then probably familiar with her and uh, anyway so the question I asked was what is the crystal that we need to help us be guided into our reunions that's going to help us and the crystal that came through was an anhydrite uh, which I hadn't actually heard before um, so I was like ah oh, that's interesting um, what does it want to say and anhydrite is all about um, the feeling of helping to heal abandonment. And so a lot of, you know, for those in a twin flame, then the reason why all the fears and the anxieties and the worry and the not wanting to come forward happens because it's the fear of being left, the fear of being abandoned, the fear of rejection. So um, the, the crown, the chakra, this impacts is the crown. The element is ether. And so I'm just going to give you the guidance. So basically it says there is a particular human pattern that anhydrite is more than qualified to resolve. A deep feelings of abandonment plague many people, which cause immense emotional distress. The roots of these feelings can be, amongst other issues, residual memories from painful lifetimes. Aphrodite is a powerful healer, gently guiding us to release the past by understanding how pain can be our teacher. Aphrodite reminds us that we are not alone, are interconnected and embraced in the heart of the divine. What we've experienced as separation served us in reality to being guided to a deeper, richer understanding of ourselves. And so the message is um, the an Anhodai Oversoul helps us be, be who we really are. The, the mandala is a series of layered soft blues that twinkles in the light. It spins while making the most exquisite of sounds, rather like a cosmic choir. Sixteen beings reflect the consciousness of this powerful oversoul. As we near the Mandela, we sense an incredible focus upon us. The beings welcome us with such warmth that our hearts swell. The beings are tall, crystalline and blue, with large wings tucked behind their backs. They guide us deep within the Mandela towards a temple. The temple, a vast anhydrite, glistens softly through some unseen light source. Inside the temple, we see a table carved from a single anhydrite crystal, which we know we must rest upon. The beings inform us to lie on our fronts. They surround us and create a mandala. Our heart beats faster as we sense a powerful healing force upon us. As the collective energies of the beings merge into another force, another being rises out of their combined energies. This being starts to caress the area behind our shoulder blades which unfurls our wings. Oh, I can feel that. We are flooded in memories of lives where we had to hide our wings and feel incredible support from these beings for the process of opening up and being who we really are. Wow, so I could feel that. Um, so uh, if you are into crystals, then I would, and you haven't got a piece of anhydrite, then I would definitely get a piece of anhydrite and um, work with it to help you release those feelings of abandonment 
and feeling alone and rejected and um, deserted. So this is the this is the crystal that I've been guided to that we will help as well as all the others, but this is the one that particularly came through today. Now the other thing that I noticed, I've been to this crystal shop so many times. But today I noticed when I walked out that the place opposite had a massive sign saying two peas in a pod. And uh, that has been a letter that's come through and has been a message. And I used that as my as a Valentine's message on the um, channel as well. So I was like, oh, God, I've never noticed that before. And the other thing is, I noticed that the building number was 97. So I am going to read letter 97 because that is the message that wants to come through. So 97 is, I want to say that I want to be her love lion. I want to roar like a lion and have the courage to tell her exactly how I feel about her. I love you. I love every single part of you. I love the way you feel, the, may you, the way you make me want to be better to make a better life for us. I love that you give me a purpose, a drive, a reason to just be. I'm so in love with you that I feel like a little schoolboy, all nervous and excited at the same time. Just thinking about you makes me have tingles. You mean the world to me. We are each other's whole. We are the ones that make each other roar. I love you. Wow, that's so lovely because that's all about getting the courage to, you know, actually say, oh, I just wish that I could say that I love you. <laughs> so, um, 97 from book two is, I love you with all my heart. Every pore of my body breathes you in. You are the light that shines so bright and shimmery in my soul. You are the light that I am heading towards the twinkle of a candle in the somewhat gloomy passageway of my mind. I've been keeping myself trapped in my own thoughts, thoughts of being not good enough for you, thinking that you wouldn't stay with me and how can I make you happy? I was putting so much pressure on myself rather than just letting my heart rule my head, letting the love in my heart tell me what to do. Now I am listening to my heart. Now I know I can make this work we will make this work wow just yeah gorgeous because again it's everything like just get carrying on from this morning's messages so from book 397 there's never a wrong time to contact me always follow your own guidance oh my god crazy when you follow your intuition it's me it's us it's our souls together giving you the little nudges to follow your heart Always do it without fear, without doubt. Instead, know that whatever you are guided to do is for a reason. So believe it's all part of our divine plan. Have no expectations. Don't feel downhearted if I don't respond. Know that it's what's meant to happen. Always trust that it is me and you guiding us home. Our hearts are connected. We are one. One love. Let's bring us home. Oh my God, that is so mental that it's about the, um, just that know that there's never a wrong time to contact me. Because um, today, after going through the crystals, uh, my guide is just like, right, you've got to go to this particular place and then you're going to phone your twin. And um, I don't know why, but because I'm so, I don't know, just phoning him is like way more scary than actually just sending him a message. And so I did, and he was on voicemail. So um, that's fine. So I left him a voicemail. But, I was, you know, when your guidance gets to... I mean, it was just such a random... I mean, it was really specific about where I had to go and when I had to... And basically, when I went to that place to call him, I get out of the car and right next to me... I mean, this is really unusual. There is a, there's a car, but it has, um, like, the shamanic feather and crystals on the dashboard and everything... And it's got the shamanic feather that I also have that is for my twin. And also it was an Audi car. And the Audi is uh, basically the rings. And we found out ages ago that lots of us have twins that have got Audis. And it was all symbolic because it was basically the ring and etern eternity and all that sort of stuff. 
So again, it was kind of crazy. So I'm very happy that that letter's come through because basically I was thinking to myself, really, do I have to really do this? And then it was like, yes. So I'm just gonna read it again. It's like, there's never a wrong time to contact me. Always follow your own guidance. When you follow your intuition, it's me, it's us. It's our souls together giving you the little nudges to follow your heart. Always do it without fear, without doubt. Instead, know that whatever you are guided to do is for a reason. So believe it's all part of our divine plan. Have no expectations. Don't feel downhearted if I don't respond. Know that it's what's meant to happen. Always trust that it is me and you guiding us home. Our hearts are connected. We are one. One love. Let's bring us home. Yes. Okay, I'm just uh, hearing 114, so I'm going to do that quickly. I can't believe how far we've come. I know that I falter at times, but it's because sometimes it just feels too good to be true. That how can this all possibly be real? The whole created together thing, the other half of my soul. It's more magical than any fairy tale, more than I could ever have dreamt of. So that's why I go into a doubt. It's only really briefly because then I snap out of it and see the wonder of the journey and all these incredible signs that the universe are bringing to keep me on.